Yo, 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 what's up, everyone? We are here with another episode of the Jersey Media Podcast. All right. So we brought some Brooklyn energy into the fucking yeah. building, yo. BK, BK. Yes, what's up, fellas? Y'all want to introduce yourselves to the people? I'm Diverse and Y. Hey, and I'm uh, Mars Gemini. Okay, yeah. all right. No shit, man. How was the journey? The journey over here. Hey, you it was got, interesting. Yeah, it, was it was a little so adventure to get yeah, here, yeah. you know. But we made it. We made it happen. Yo, sometimes Google Maps doesn't show you the way, the, the best way. You know <laughs> they, what I mean? You gotta make your way. Yeah, you gotta make your way. Like they didn't even show like the path. You could take the path at this time and still make it. But we we did it. We got here. Yeah. We but at least y'all fuck with Jersey. Though. A lot of yeah, times, if you're from, a lot of times if you're from New York. You think Jersey's like some long lost island? Or nah, something. be Jersey's the truth. <laughs> okay. Nah, for Word. red man. Word. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like not even yeah. just like everything, bro. Like we we connected to Jersey super hard body, bro. Like and Word. it's the truth, man. Like Newark and Cam, like yo, people be real, bro. Like you don't get it twisted. Jersey gets down, bro. Nah, hey. I've been I've been very pleasantly surprised with Jersey. Yeah. Um, I don't and know if you know Chi Chi. Actually, he's my engineer. Okay, and Dope. he's from Jersey or whatever. And um, it's been a it's been a journey for me myself and and my man's over here with the music and everything. So when we met Chi, who is from Jersey. I felt like he was a missing piece to our mm. music, you know, to like really to really fit the vision that we're looking for and that we're yeah. going for. So so Jersey has been you know definitely like a second home for us, no question. Yeah. Word. It's the sixth borough, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Facts. Actually, it could be the fifth borough because, yeah, you know, yeah. Staten Island is Wu Tang. Yeah, 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 really, you know what I mean? Yeah, That's dog. all that you got. Like, Do you really claim Staten Island? Yeah, side, <laughs> man. No, I got love for you. That's yeah, bro. How did y'all meet? So we met way back. How long has it been? 20 yeah. years? At least? Yeah, at least 20 years. At least 20 man. years, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what it is that we had a mutual friend. Yeah. And that mutual friend introduced me. To actually his brother yeah. and so another boy that we had as well or have as well and so so Mars was always into the music you know say like Mars was doing music before I was like he was freestyling and everything and then um to make a long story short we connected and then just probably like what the past yeah, few, five six yeah. seven years we just Going really got really, we got closer really you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah, with the yeah, music we connected definitely. more with the music yeah and so we've really um, have strengthened that bond, you know, yeah. through the music. Word. Yeah. What made you get started music, man? So with me, I would say it was just one day I picked up the pen, just out of boredom. I was working with my pops at the time. He owned the mm -hmm. cleaners for a long time. I picked up the pen, started writing. And so at that time, I felt like I've always had the ability to write, mm -hmm. but my flow wasn't where it needed to be, you know? Like it took it took a while for me to get to that point. You know, and so I've always had the vision for it, but I just had to put the components together, you know, and so it took time to get to that point. And like I said, Maul's always had that. He always had that flow, that freestyle ability to do that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I didn't really have that, but I always knew that I was I had the ability to to be able to create create something because when it comes down to it, it's about creation. Right. Yeah. And originality. So, yeah. hey. 100 percent. What about yourself, man? Like, how did you even get started on music? Music, man, to me, I don't. It's, it's funny because it's like the weird thing is that I hate to write. You know what I'm saying? But I'm good at writing. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, I am. But it's, it just feels like a task. So, mm -hmm. like, I don't know. It's like writing in your head, like the whole aspect of like freestyling, kind of like and making. It just. It was just such a. Like to me, it's like the 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 easy way out of like writing. It's like improv and freestyle. I love it to death because it's mm -hmm. like like you show like your 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 uh, bare instincts right there. Like you know what I'm saying. Like you just dropping stuff and it just comes out and you, you be just like, having fun wow. with it. yeah, you just have fun with it. But uh, I mean, I love the writing aspect of it. Like truthfully, like my my brother, he writes like like he's he's good with like screenplays, and my sister could write a book. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think we come from, like, like that writing thing. But it's, like, I just love. And, and truthfully, like, until now, like, he's the one that got me more into the beats and, like, loving that energy. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, that 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 beat stuff. I was always into lyrics more than anything else. Yeah. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Recently, I got into. And it's, like, all the music 
influenced it like spanish like i love salsa like fania stuff like you know what i mean like it's just anything that has like lyrics and it's driven by like wordplay and i, I just love that wordplay and stuff like that that's yeah me is. too that's my type of music yeah, as well yeah. too who'd y'all listen to growing up that's a really good question um so for me like he just mentioned i love salsa salsa is my top two genres of music so for me it's hip-hop and salsa salsa believe it or not grupo nietzsche adolescentes yeah. We say hey, Santiago, Tito Rojas, R.I.P. And we say so people like that when it came to salsa. And we came to hip hop, it was Nas, of course, you know, Prodigy, these guys, you know, Jay Z, Biggie, obviously, these guys. Yeah. But um, yeah. All right, what about yourself? Um, yo, my, my favorite artist is Nas, always like hip hop when it comes to hip hop and stuff like that. But like salsa, it'd be like, uh, um, you know, Ruben Blades. You know what I mean? Hector Lavoe. Like, I love all, like, that, that funny and stuff. Like, I, like that ruggedness. You know what I mean? And and also, it was, it's, it's crazy because my, my, my cousins, they, they introduced me to, like, the noise and underground, like, to the, to, like, uh, the, the original, like, reggaeton when it first started out. You know what I'm saying? And I love that whole energy that came from that. And Orishias, these are dudes from, like, uh, the Cuban dudes that, that used to like mix French, Spanish, and like uh, salsa with hip hop. And the other day, I just realized that somebody had an influence in me that a lot of people don't know this artist, but uh, Thurston Howard the Third. He's from like East New York. He's a low head uh, or from Brownsville. He's from Brownsville. I say East New York. He's from Brownsville, a low head, but he always used to write rap in Spanish. But he like a like you know he was born like basically he came from where we from, and that always like I realized the other day how much influence he had because he has like a a, a wordplay thing that he does you know what I'm saying? So he'll mix it up. Yeah. yeah. Do, do y'all feel that that actually helps you guys as artists the the fact that because I actually love salsa I can't understand this shit but I love <laughs> the music behind it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love the dance to it. I think that that is like just so dope. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I think it's uh. It's like super, super romantic. It's just everything. You know what I mean? Like it's a vibe. So it's a love it gives language. You energy. Yeah. Yeah. So do y'all think that the fact of that, because salsa is really, really high up there for y'all, do you feel like it sets you guys apart musically? A thousand percent. No question about it. We um we have a different perspective because of that. Because we come from Latin roots, so we we fuse that in. You know what I'm saying? It just happens to be that we did the song. Bobby Stoll and then that's, that's what I'm, yeah so yeah, that but I know even other right. records probably didn't right. have that much of a vibe exactly but it probably still helped in creating that thousand percent no question about it you know what I'm saying we, like I said we have a different perspective because of that and I've had conversations with Mars before the fact that we both come from the same area in Brooklyn yeah. which is Flatbush hmm. so we around the Caribbean people yeah. you know what I'm saying and at the same time you know so we love hip hop and we love salsa but it's not much people like me and Mars yeah. in our area is really not you know what I'm saying it's like and so the fact that we have that is what makes it so unique and original you know what I'm I know Mars wants to say something it, right now yeah, yeah. Can I, it's just like yo I forgot like I love like one of my biggest influences truthfully now now I just like how did I forget yeah. it's dance hall so good yeah. like I love you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we was on, or like I grew up listening to clashes, and like I'm from Flatbush, so it was like that music too. Like we that from Flatbush, vibes. we from Flatbush, we from Flatbush. yeah, <laughs> we from Flatbush and Brownsville. You from the yeah. Ville too? Like yeah. that's why you you all yeah. from real. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? And and it's like a very Caribbean um, mm -hmm. based area. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that that vibe is just yeah. like in like. It doesn't matter where you from, but like that vibe, like that music always drives you. Like, you know what I'm saying? You feel it. Yeah. yeah. And you guys hear music differently, I think, because of that. No question. You know what I'm saying? Like typically yeah. I think like and no knock to just like pure hip hop heads and stuff like that. Like I love right. I love hip hop. Yeah. For sure. But I think when you start being able to hear different like when you have that music ear for a solid and you enjoy right. that sometimes people don't even enjoy that stuff right but i think that the fact that y'all enjoy it and you know it and that's really high up there the things that y'all could probably do with the beats is different the yeah. melodies the absolutely hooks, like absolutely so it, to me it's like it's like food right when you fuse in foods it's like it's usually better yeah. you know what i mean because you're, you're fusing it you're bringing um different different just a different taste from different cultures right the same thing with music it translates to music as well when you bring when you fuse in different things different cultures it's just gonna enhance it to another level you know what I'm saying that the average person won't be able to do because they just don't have that that mentality you know what i'm saying but sometimes i i i kind of like 
I, I get disappointed in certain people because I'm like, yo, truthfully, like some people be like, nah, I don't want to listen to that. That's not real rap. But it's like, yo, you're you're closing yourself off to something. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people do that. And a lot of people like I know that are super dope, like, you know what I mean? Like back like you would consider a backpack rapper or, or like, you know, um what's the name of people call those like, you know, they, they rap rap. So Royce the five nine, yeah, jump button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Correct. that type of so uh, uh what's the name of the beat? Like they, hey, they call the beeps the those BPMs. type of beats now, like the 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 back in the day, uh beats that we grew up on. They 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 call it something. But those artists that be rapping on like beats like you know what I mean, like like classical type hip hop beats, uh they don't wanna open themselves up to like go into that that whole like trap. You know what I'm saying, and or or explore what they do, and I, I've heard like one of my boys, he has a, a whole catalog of music. You know what I'm saying, that's like more commercial, but he doesn't drop it because he knows that his fan base won't like it. You know what I'm saying, so he just keeps on doing what he does, and I'm like, yo, you can't do it. Like, yo, just music is music, enjoy it, bro. Like, yeah, you know what I mean, just show that love. You know, it's it's tough, man, because the, sometimes you know. It really depends. Like for me, I, I I'm a lyric guy like you. I love the lyric, I love the content, but I also I absolutely love some just good music. But I'm the I like the voice, like sometimes like the new the newer kids sometimes, just the shit they be doing with the voice and stuff be throwing me off. I'm like, yo, like if I heard you clearly and you were rapping, I think it would be different for me, you know? And also what you're saying. Yeah, but I will say though, now that we're getting a lot more people getting more funky with the beats and getting more funky with the music yeah. and all these trap, the beats and the production is fire. So I, I never really knocked that. Like when I li- listen to a lot of new shit, I never really knocked the production. So I just really knock how the dudes are just doing it with their vocals and all that or what they're saying. Right. You know, so. Right. I understand that. I just feel like music is going to evolve regardless. And I'm yeah. not going to judge what they do because event- cause obviously when music evolved in our time the people before us were saying the same, same thing about thing. us you yeah. feel me so it's just a cycle it's just inevitable it's gonna happen but um i just feel you have to be a, you know true to yourself as an artist Word. you know so that's what it comes down to and people are gonna see that they're gonna sense the authenticity in you yeah. you feel yeah. me because if you try to do something else that is not in you then people gonna see that right away gonna be like that's not you know you don't feel comfortable in his own skin so that yeah. alone how it's gonna project to other people you know so 100 percent so you know I, I work with a lot of entrepreneurs and, and that's what really Jersey Media is Jersey Media works with a lot of up and coming entrepreneurs and you know entrepreneurs that have been in the game for a while and you know we know it's not easy you know what I'm saying we know it's not easy so yeah. like for y'all you know what stories could y'all share about maybe current situations or past situations of y'all just really just trying to perfect your hustle but while living a regular real life you know because let's be real none of us here are sitting here millionaires you know what i'm saying or maybe i'll are you know who knows or none nah, of us are signed nah, nah. last time i checked now nah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> so like yeah. that that but y'all striving towards greatness you know what i'm saying for sure and y'all hustling sure. and y'all working and y'all grinding i actually just wrote that greatness is awaiting i actually wrote that on my storyline so it's funny you just said that look at that see yeah so we're working towards that you know yeah, what i'm for saying sure. So obviously, you know, there's moments where we got to have nine to fives. There's mm-hmm. moments where we got to do this. Like, I don't know if y'all parents at all. Any, any you guys have any kids at all or no? Yeah, I got I got two kids. I got my, my son. He's 13. Yeah. And my, my daughter's 21. That's what I'm revealing my age. But yeah. <laughs> nah, so so like, for you, like, what's yeah. that process like, tr- you know, creating that and trying to be, you know, the, the man you're trying to be, like, musically and all right. that, but also be a father. Like, that's yeah. got to be tough, right? Yeah, it can be. I think you just have to find a balance. You know what I'm saying? When you have love for something, that is, it should come more natural. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you know you know what you have in mind, what goal you have in mind, what vision you have in mind, and when you do it with love, it changes the dynamics of it. If you do it for the money, it's, you're not going to get anywhere. You know what I'm saying? You're going to burn out eventually because you're not doing it for the right reasons. So I do it for the love. I know I do it for the love. I, mean, I know he does it for the love. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, it's like, it's a win-win situation. You know, it doesn't matter what happens, no matter what the outcome is, it is you know, I'm still going to create this music, you know what I'm saying, and share it with others and, and, and just see where the journey takes us. Right. You know, I know what I have to offer. I know what we can do. I know we have a distinctive sound. And, um, you know what I'm saying, the music is going to speak for itself, really. But like to what you were saying, yeah, we do have jobs, you know. He he works a crazy chef. Yeah. I can't, his chef is crazier than mine. I do the evening shifts, but he does, like, he gets... He gets at work at three in the morning, which is a whole nother, 
what I'm saying? And he's gone from the studio straight to work a few times, you know what I'm saying? You know, to his, um, so, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, the sacrifices that have to be made, but, yeah. you know, of course, that's just with everything in life, you know, everything that's worth something is, you know, you got to sacrifice a little something for it, right? Yeah. I'm absolutely. sure you do the same thing too, oh, yeah. like, I mean, yeah. I was telling you before, you were a workaholic, man. Thank I you, man. constantly see you working, and I appreciate that, and I and I respect that, you know. Thank you, bro. Likewise, you know. You know what yeah, I mean? absolutely. Like, you know, we creatives, and, we, and it's it's tough. And until you get to that spot, you gotta grind. Yeah, yeah no what, question. What about yourself, man? I'm just uh, like saying, yo, I just be working, trying to like this is my love, truthfully. Like you know, what I'm saying like whatever I put money into, like I hustle and I work. Just to put money into something that I love to create, you know what I'm saying, or to see somebody else create, like you know what I mean. Like usually I'll, I'll invest in other people's stuff, like you know what I mean, that I, I feel, and I'll do that, like you know what I mean. But but I be wilding sometimes. I be throwing things out the window, like I be on some still kind of wild street shit. And that just just shows his you know personality, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, because. Yeah. You see how he's a freestyler and more like spontaneous and stuff like that where I'm more like, I'm more calculated. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm the writer. You know, I create these songs. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it just shows our personalities and how we are. You know, I'm more disciplined. You yeah. feel me? But we balance each other out though. But that's what I that's love what about is, you know? yeah. new music because yeah. he's doing what I always did. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's freestyling, making songs like and building them from like, you know what I mean? Like he freestyle and he drops that and that's what I appreciate. Like, you know what I mean? Like you, you did... Like you, like you know what I mean. Like now you're the freestyle artist, like in a way, and then you write in a on way, top I, of that. Like, I didn't even you know think of it like, like that. Now that you pointed like, it out, I didn't yeah. even think of it like, like that. Yeah, yeah because and then yeah. you got me. You guys right. take one, yeah. you know, yeah. you take maybe something he has, and yeah. and vice versa. When you work with as yeah. a team, that's just how things happen. Yeah, and that's something that I appreciate that you. I know that you, um, you're an advocate of when you say that you know what I'm saying. Uh, together we're stronger, right? Oh, yeah. You so, know, united we're stronger. So that's. Yeah. That's key right there, honestly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody can make it on their own. Nobody's yeah. gonna just no do way. everything on their own. There's no man on this planet. I don't care who you are. So you yeah. need to have positive yeah. people around you that support your vision, your dream, and um, yeah, yeah. That's percent, man. That's why I tell people all the time, like you know, we're yeah. always we're always stronger together. You know, yeah. every every single time. Exactly. I mean, it, and you gotta make a shirt like that, by the way. Thanks, You're man. Stronger yeah. together. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know, yeah. It's yeah. it's tough because you know it takes time to find those people sometimes yeah. and to get that together sometimes it take it takes it but you know like if you really think about a lot of situations in life of things that you know we may change like even last year rest in peace George Floyd you know that was a moment an example stronger together you know many mm -hmm. different wow. times wow. in you know just wherever like you're stronger together yeah. you know and and it's tough because a lot of times we want to do things on our own or sometimes we are alone and sometimes we're just stuck because. Right. You know, like you don't have like minded individuals like you and shit. So it's tough. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you know, right. we're all strong together. You can't start a revolution by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Everything that you do, you can't do anything by yourself. I mean, you could do things by yourself. You could get to a certain point, like you were saying, man. But like, you know, not, you don't know everything. You need yep. certain people to be on your team that know how to do this more. You know what I mean? And then you learn from each other like, right, like right. we did. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what that's the whole point. You learn from each other's, you know what I'm saying? Like what they have. Like you, you gain their superpower and it's like everybody's like, ah, yeah. we, we ready. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And right. that's the beautiful thing. Like, that's uh, I've always seen it things like that. Like, like Wu-Tang. Like every time that you see a dope musical movement, it's like one person that, Thought of, uh, like you know what I mean I'm not saying that but like one or two people that thought about like yo let's put this together and let's get all these guys and let's do this like you know what I'm saying like the Dungeon Family like Wu Tang like uh, you know what I mean like Pharrell and or like Teddy Riley yeah. like all that like it's always a yep. group of yeah. people yeah. since we shout them. out now I'm sorry I just want to shout out DLG by the way that's one of okay, the, the groups that actually inspired me DLG for sure good yeah. shit bro yeah. so now for y'all like y'all do it for the love and i know y'all do it for the love i could tell just through the music and everything but like you know at the end of the day we are getting older right and you know you hear this conversation now a lot like you know you got to do what you love and all that yeah but while doing what you love at the same time like you know i think there's a there's a perfect balance of like not doing it for the money but then also, you know, we're getting to a point in age yeah, to where, like, you kind of got to do yeah. it for the money a little bit. Yeah. But so, like, you don't want to say that because you don't want to because people would take it the wrong way. It's like the yeah. elephant in the room. It is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so, but I think there's a perfect balance of, like, okay, I love to do this. But at the same time, you know, like, I'm 31. I don't got time to be playing no more. Like, 
about shit. You know what I mean? Like I gotta make my money, and I I gotta be. And my also my my thoughts about money have to change. Like a hundred dollars for the day isn't isn't good no more to me. You know what Facts. I'm saying? Like because Facts. you know when you got families yeah. and you got Facts. all that yeah. shit. Facts. So for y'all with music and the time, because the times we're living in now is tough. You know with the whole streaming era and all that. So like, wh- what do y'all ever think about that? Like, do y'all get discouraged with the streaming? Do y'all feel like now nah, you know what I, I want to go for streaming? You want to do tours? Like when the money aspect of the bi- in the business, like how? What do y'all think about that? Well, I feel like how can I say this? So when we started, right? I feel like we just recently are approaching the business out of it because like we literally created music for the love of it like literally it was like when i when we tell you that like there's no lie to that right so you could say a part of us was probably maybe we wasn't ready to that point where we felt like we could compete with the best of the best and when i say the best of the best i'm talking about anybody whatever name you want to throw out there and so probably what the past two years three years we felt like we've gotten to that level you know what I'm saying is where we we know we can compete with the best of the best yeah. so now we are ready to approach the business side of it and educate ourselves more on the business side of it because it's like creating music is a fun part it's a super fun part but it's a whole nother side to it that sometimes you like you dread to approach to, to pursue that side of it because there's so much that is involved it's just like you just want to have fun you want to create the music oh the music is dope oh okay let's let's share the music let's hear it oh damn that song is dope but then it's like yeah Yeah, all the cute stuff but it's like we're not approaching it on the business side of it so we're doing it an injustice to ourselves and we had this conversation many times and you know what i'm saying i've you know like like i said we bad at each other so well because yeah. i i educate myself in the way what we have to, how what we have to do and then he looks into it and he's like all right this, this is how we gonna do it you know what i mean so it's, so we're definitely on that you know on that road you know and it's like that's what makes a perfect duo you know what i'm saying so yeah that's that's where we at you know that's where we what at. about you man how do you feel as far as the way the music business is going like the music business is going you see like my bad i, I just don't really i don't I don't care about I like I I would love to make money off of what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? That that would be like the always everybody's end goal. Yeah. But I don't think I would love it as much if if I made money from it. Like you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, so it's like that whole thing. Like at the end, of, like truthfully, until I'm making money, money off of the thing, I don't really care about it like that. Like you know what I'm saying about that money from that because yeah. I can make money from somewhere else. Like money, like is. It's just like a thing to get to. It's not the end. It's not the the what you want to end up with. It's really what what's gonna get to get you to where you want to go. Like you know what I mean. Like if you if you put too much focus on the bread, then you know what I mean. Like you chasing the bread forever in a way. I don't know how to explain it, but like like I. I understand like the 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 business thing like that he's the one that keeps me like grounded and brings me back because i'll be like ah whatever i'll be floating yeah, away he's and he's relaxed like about it. yeah i'm very lax about yeah. everything so he's like the one that comes so, like, wait, wait do y'all think yeah. i'm just gonna ask questions yeah. do y'all think it's because you have kids and you don't no i don't think it has to do with that no. i think what it has to do with okay, on a side note of I'm I'm more competitive. He's not competitive at all. Okay. And I'm more competitive. So I think that has something to do with it yeah, subconsciously, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so like, yeah. You know, if that makes any sense. No, yeah, because yeah, I, I never know. like yeah. truthfully I never like yeah. I never like I like I said it early, like I'm not into sports and all that stuff. Yeah. So before I was like I never understand why why people are so competitive. <laughs> but now like you know what I'm saying it's necessary. Like, said, you know I don't what I'm saying? It's a very, it, right? <laughs> but it's a very necessary thing and I appreciate yeah. like people that are like you know what I'm saying because it's like a thing but I but sometimes it's like that gets in between friendships, it gets in between you know what I mean, music, it gets in between creative aspects, all that to me. Right. You know money, what I'm saying? The money, right? Yeah, the money. Money. Well, money and competitiveness, yeah, competitiveness like you yeah. know just being like um yeah but uh that whole that whole thing like yeah that is the perfect way to put it because i'm not that competitive yeah but you know what i'm saying like I, I want people to see what what i could do but i don't really care if you don't really care for it like you know what i mean at the end of the day like yeah. i want to do music for everybody to enjoy but if you don't really enjoy it then at the end of the day exactly at the end of the day I i'm like hey <laughs> I, I know i did this and i know i yeah. spit some bars here and that's cool yeah. like if you didn't like yeah. it that's all good yeah like, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit of the same like i'm mm-hmm. not really mm-hmm. i'm competitive in certain aspects of things but on a very very low scale you know what i mean like right. I'm, I'm, i don't I, I just do what i do mm-hmm. and 
if you like it, you like it. You yeah, don't, for sure. You don't like. I'm yeah. not out here sitting watching other people and being like, oh, I gotta match what they're right. No, like, I get it. No, of course. Yeah. And when I uh, for me, to me, I'm I'm a healthy competitor. Yeah, yeah. P- competitor. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? You know what I'm saying I'm not like over. Oh, like, oh my god, I gotta win. Yeah, like, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Like I play basketball too, and if like let's say I play a good game of basketball and I lose the game, and that's a good game. I'm, yeah. Yo, good game. You know what I'm saying? Great game. But I need but, his his motivation. Like his motivation drives me. Like you know what I'm saying. Like it gives me a different like bang. Like it makes me go somewhere else. Like you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. Like that's why I understand the competitive nature. And I'm like it is necessary. And and it it, it does give me like your competitiveness gives me a, a, a reason to come back in. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna do this track. It sounds dope. Now I'm like, yo, I can't sound terrible on it. I gotta go in and. So you know what's a perfect example you know of that? You just reminded me of that, right? So. It's the irony of it. So, we made a a bachata fusion yeah. song. So he's Dominican, mind you. I'm not Dominican. Mm. You know what I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. Peruvian. Wait, is this song out? It's not out yet. Oh, it's not I was out. Say, I gotta hear it. Yeah, no, we are gonna let you hear it. Actually, we are gonna let you hear it. So, so I I did the chorus and everything. My brother, he didn't, he couldn't come today, but eventually you'll meet him. Me and my brother, I did my chorus. My brother slayed the verse, whatever. So the pressure was on him because he's Dominican. <laughs> so he got he got a like slay the verse right so he's like oh man and he was stressed he was stressed about it because the the track was already i said it was like practically done and then he ended up he ended up seeking through and and putting his part okay but uh but yeah (laughs) no but truthfully at the end uh, true the truth is that it was a a a bachata track and i'm like damn so i don't really want to do a bachata track like you know what i mean like i love bachata for what it is it's not my favorite type of music like i said like even though i'm dominican i love salsa and i love i love merengue perigo ripiao eh, bachata but i'm like yo i'm i'm a rapper you know what i'm yeah. saying in a way how am i gonna approach this and it's like yeah. since i heard mind you was like, the only murder bachata track it. that we've ever like, done you know what i'm saying like we don't do stuff like that usually. they murdered it and yeah. it was like yo I got it, and then and then it just came out like yeah. from that 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 energy. You know what I'm saying? It's just a beautiful I, I, thing. I, I love I love music like that, man. Yeah, I love yeah. I love when people infuse certain different shit. Like I mm-hmm. I remember the old record. Uh, like it just, I don't know why it just came to me. Like the old Usher mm-hmm. record, Promise, Promise, and Ro- Romeo, yeah, right? Like yeah, yeah, when they just infuse like oh, the R and B with yeah, the like. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't yeah. know. I just love that shit. Like yeah. like or Joe Budden does that a lot. I'm a yeah. big fan. Or like of him, Drake man. with Bad Bunny. You know yeah, I don't know right. if I heard that one. Yeah, and I'm Bun. I'm not much of a Drake. Fan. Really? <laughs> okay. No, so I respect I it. I respect no, it. No, no, I was, no, yeah, I, I liked Drake. Yeah. Up until nothing was the same. Mm. Okay. And then after that, nothing was the same. Yeah. <laughs> right. Ironically, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. But so okay. Now for y'all too, what I want to get into now mm-hmm. is like, you know, y'all have been doing music now for a minute, and mm-hmm. you know, the technology keeps evolving. Correct. So. Now we gotta be doing like you know, TikToks and reels, and we gotta be doing this shit right. And from a marketer, yeah, I wanna know how y'all feel about this shit. Do y'all yeah. wanna be doing these fucking this content, the social media shit, or do y'all not? TikToks is a reach for me. If I'm being honest, I feel like it's it's more gauged towards another generation, towards my daughter's generation. My daughter loves doing TikToks and whatnot uh, for like me it's a little person? huh like she's a person she was a person she was like a tiktok i mean she yeah she, i mean stuff, yeah, yeah yeah she got a little follow i mean it's nothing crazy but like you know she got a little, little that's what she whatever. uses like her she uses yeah. she loves tiktoks like she comes to my house and she's doing like i have like literally a ring light just for her to yeah. do when she comes over she does tiktoks and whatever it's just really not my style like that i'm more of an instagram i don't even have facebook and i've been telling him we gotta get facebook y'all need facebook we need facebook i'm telling and y'all i know i know i know i've been telling oh, guns mm. like y'all honestly i know anyone that's, anyone that's watching this yeah don't you're if you're sleeping on facebook and twitter yeah. you're well facebook number one twitter yeah. i can teach y'all other things but y'all gotta i'll tell y'all but anyone's y'all yeah. gonna pay me for twitter <laughs> and, I, and i'll teach y'all how to use twitter to make, yeah. no matter no, no matter the business yeah i can make twitter like you will want to hire somebody yeah just to run twitter for really? you when you learn this really but we we'll probably hire yeah. you bro <laughs> hey yeah. let me know if that's like that's that. what i do Yo, if it's like that facts. yeah now nah, nah, twitter is twitter's yeah. real but facebook matter of fact it's funny you say that because when um when when it was um when everything went down twitter ig was, yeah. twitter was like the, yeah. the the platform to go to yeah. so it's funny you say that i'm, I'm gonna show you all after this but but yeah. the, but facebook now nah, everyone needs to be on facebook yeah yeah you need and to i was telling good. him that because um you can reach other audiences and other overseas and facebook where you really can't do that much in other platforms 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Plus, you got like yeah. events. You got like different yeah. little things that you could like use. Little different apps within the app, and and yeah. a lot of like, at least my like my real like my real folks like my my um you know my cousins my my like the everybody bloodline, yeah. everyone that I know is basically my friend in Facebook. Like you know what I'm saying like the older generation and the younger generation that still uses it or like. Even if the people don't use it, they still have it. Just you know what I'm saying, just to have it, like so that they can get the messages. So, or whatever. well, I'm, I'm gonna put y'all on, and everyone that's watching this too, right? So, the number one best thing about Facebook is the Facebook groups, mm. right? So, Facebook groups is a real thing, and, and you know how people like talk about Reddit and stuff. Yeah, Reddit is cool. Reddit's great, but Facebook groups is like almost just the same. Mm. And Facebook groups are like they have a group for everything, right? So, for example, I shot a, a short film uh, last year, right? I, I wrote it, directed it. My guy Zane, that was just popped in real quick. Right. He's the one that did the cinematography. And I've joined like four Scream, Scream Facebook groups. So, these groups have about 12,000 people in there. Wow. Right? That's insane. So, what does that mean? That means like I have 12,000 friends. And those 12,000 friends are going to put on to another not even they just you're putting it in the room that's like yeah. that's like you having 12,000 followers and you posting something mm. so when you put it in these groups so I put it in like four different groups and each one of them had all these different Mind blowing, huh? you know all <laughs> these different like followers and shit follower counts and obviously they're Scream fans so if I'm giving them a Scream short film they're gonna watch it yeah. wow you know what I'm saying and I, now I, I gave maybe 50,000 people the chance to see my shit then there's, there's a Facebook group for everything like for Poppy Store, like there's a, a guarantee. There's like no, but like you never know. Yeah. Like wherever we shot it's it, a Poppy I'm not, Store yeah, group chat. There, might, yo, there might be. It's or, like yeah. ten bodegas. Uh, yeah, yeah but for I guarantee there's a bodega group or or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or like even the city where we shot it at. Yo, you put it in the city that you shot it at and be like, look, this was in your local hood. Go watch the video. You know what I'm saying? Like there's so many creative ways with these Facebook groups that people are sleeping on, but. Yeah. Absolutely, hundred oh, yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. You saying, but that's what we have, you though, man. <laughs> Thank you for, for real, yeah, man. Yeah, nah, man. no question about it. They teach all these man. little things. That's what I'm saying, because it's like we more on the creative side of things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of course. And so, like, that's that's where a team comes in. You know, like people who just can input different ideas and just knowledge that Strong together. other ones. Sean, there we go. <laughs> yeah. <get> shirt. <laughs> what about you, man? As far as like the whole social media stuff, like. Oh yeah, we already. I hate, out. I hate social media. Yeah, hate like at the end of the day, but like I'll, I'll do it, and I know how to do it. Like I'll do it, and when I do it, people like fuck with it. I guess you know yeah. what I'm saying to an extent. And now that you're talking about groups, I'm like, damn, I'm in a lot of groups. But the thing is that I forget. Like you see, like music is my my passion. I love music, but like because of my friend, like uh, like you know my boy Ray and my and my my wife, you know Jody and stuff. Like I. I I started doing improv and I love improv and comedy and and act, like actually the 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 other day I, I just realized the first time I was like yo I got paid to act like to actually do lines like and it was a uh, right amount of money and I was like yo I'm a professional actor kind of now <laughs> like you know what I'm saying but like through all that like I've, I I do have like uh Facebook um uh, like Facebook groups and all that stuff but it's just like to me it's kind of so tedious like it, it kind of like it takes away so much of my like, it feels like it takes away so much energy from me like just to be like posting doing things you know what it's it is weird, i feel like because like, we come from like a different generation yeah. and so you, you just like you're more personable right you, you like to be in person yeah, yeah. so then for yeah. that it's just like it's more tedious it's like it's work it's not it as entertaining as it would be for a 25 y- yes. young Yo, that's the perfect play. It's kind of like yeah. doing a show on Zoom instead of doing it like live. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Like being at a, a at an actual venue and right. meeting the people afterwards. It's like doing a show in Zoom to me. Like yeah, all that social media that's stuff true. is like that. Like you know what I mean? Like right. you're really just throwing something out there and then seeing if people and then being like, oh my god, did this person. Oh wow! Like you know what I mean? It's just kind of like yeah. I mean, I understand it. And it's but unfortunately, we live in a different yeah, yeah, time course, now, so course. we have to, you know, yeah. you have to adjust. But yeah. it, it just takes more. Well, that's what I wanted to know. Takes, Are y'all yeah. willing? Because, you know, some people, they're yeah. like, nah, I'm going to do this hip hop nah. shit without it. Oh, nah, 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 nah. 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 It's necessary. So, if we say that, it's just, it will be very nah. ignorant in our If you're a hustler, you're yeah. doing yeah. something else, you yeah. could do without it. But, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to want to be. You have to adjust with times. You have to adjust with times. Like, that's inevitable. That's like somebody being like, yo, I'm going to shoot with film. 
You know what I'm saying right now? Like, yo, what? Bro, yo, you know real, how much right? money you want to spend on that yeah. like, for no reason? Yeah. Bro. Like, nah, I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm doing film and that's yeah, it. Like, that's man, no, that's no just not. We're going to splice that. Like, film. <laughs> What uh, what other stuff you guys got coming? What can people like stay tuned and be watching for any projects? Anything y'all wanna? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anything y'all wanna give them a sneak peek to tell them to? For sure, for? for sure, for sure. So um, right now we got Eddie Stu. Eddie Stu is one of our, our main songs right now. Eddie Stu is dedicated to Latin America. Yeah. Um, it's well, really to the Americas. To the Americas. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> All the to me, I love it. And right now it's Spanish yeah. Heritage Month, so oh yeah, yeah it's for Spanish sure. Heritage. So we go, we, we dropping that definitely either more than likely tonight or tomorrow. It's just our, you know coincidence that that's gonna happen. Okay. The song is already so on. You said tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, that means it's out already. Like yeah. well, yeah. Right, so yeah, it's so out. The, the song is already out. Eddie yeah. Stewart is already go. out yes. on all platforms. But um, as far as the video, the video is gonna is gonna come out okay. tonight or tomorrow for sure. You know, uh, you already know we got Bobby Store and then um, yeah, one of my other tracks that are coming out is gonna be Caution. Caution is gonna be it's gonna be a nice one. That's with Steam Lagoon. Me and Steam Lagoon, that's that's definitely that's a powerful song right there for sure. And we just got so much other stuff that, Yo, I'll, Mueve yeah, Mueve we got, Mueve Lo, yeah, we got Mueve Lo coming out, yeah, yeah. you know, todo Mueve Tu Bandera, Mueve tu bandera. Yeah. and Todo is the Bachata todo is the song bachata. that oh. you was telling you about. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Three, five. Over there. So the last thing I really want to know too is how how do y'all know Guns and Steam? So I know Steam through Chi. So I went to you know it's like I said, Chi's my engineer. So I went to the studio one day, and the steam happened to be there. That's how Caution was created. And so the chorus was already dropped. I already had dropped the chorus for Caution, and steam was there. And we was vibing. I hit it off with steam right away. And then um, and he was like, yo, let me let me see what I can do with it. You know, I know steam can sing. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, through Chi Chi, he was telling me he could really sing. I was like, you know what? Give it a shot. Go see what you can do with it. And then he just he just killed it. He just slayed it, oh you know. Yeah, he gosh. really did. And I was like, yo, that's a go. That's a go. I, I mean, you know, you know. So um, that's how I know Steam. And so then I know Guns through Steam. Okay, dope. Yeah, so then, so my poppy store, you know, Steam hit me up with the track. And he was like, yo, Diverse, you should jump on this. And I was like, say less. Like, oh, say my what? God, I love this. This is crazy. Like, salsa and hip-hop. That's right up my alley. Like it's beautiful. Yeah, shit to my And then he hit up, he hit up guns. And then he told me, "Yo, I put guns on it too." And I was like, "Ah, right, cool. Let me hear it." And then I heard the verse. I was like, "Let's go. Let's do it." You know. And then here we are. You know. The rest is history. Yes, sir. <laughs> have to go watch it, man. <laughs> and uh, I think we're gonna have another special guest too. All right, at the end of this episode. So for we, sure, stay yeah, tuned. You stay tuned. Know, you already know. All right. If you like to laugh, <laughs> stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have a little special guest, so we are going to see y'all later, and then we will jump into this. Will magically crossfade yeah. into our guest. Yeah, red elements though. Red elements. That's the name of our crew, by the way. Word. Red Go red follow. Elements. Where can they follow you guys? Uh, so for me, it's diverse underscore and why. I want to be simple, and then we have red elements. The E is gonna connect, and the Z at the end. And so for Mars, yeah, Mars Gemini is is, is I haven't even thought about how to explain that, like how to how to follow. Yeah, that it's but you know what? Just yeah. yo, you can follow me at at, uh, at the, Mariel Grujon, like I'm my real name. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm that type of person. I'm like yeah. I got an artist. Yo, I've been spitting for mad long, and I just was like, oh, you know what? I like this rap name. Like not that long ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? Truthfully. Like they call me Mag Super, a whole bunch of yeah, other stuff on the street. But just give you give your IG. Though. Okay, just yeah, IG, IG, Jesus, the Bodega Cat. I'm gonna give that one up because that one is the one I yeah, know yeah, with yeah. a Z. You know what I mean? Jesus with a Z, there we the go. Bodega Cat, and um, bought at the Bodega. You can catch us doing like comedy stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, don't pass the pepper sauce, the Caribbean comedy stuff. Watch. And watch it, Ralph. I'm just shooting, shouting out everybody that I can right now because I gotta show love to all my people. You know what I'm saying? They out there yeah. and rare elements. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody, yo, Chi, everybody out yeah. in Jersey, everybody that be getting down in Jersey, much love. Goons, what up? Goons, what up? Goons, uh, yo, guns, uh, yeah. lagoon. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, everybody, yo, much yeah. love. For real. Yo, Joe's for elements too. You Joe. don't know it yet though. <laughs> Joe's you don't know it yet. right here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. But yo, this was dope, man. Yeah, for real. Thank y'all yeah, for coming for through. Thank you, for having, yo. Yo, thank you for having us, man. It was good vibes, good energy as always. That's how it should be. Let's fucking go. No question. All right, people. We'll be back. Love. Peace. Yeah.
Yo, it's Stoops, wake up, man. What you sleeping for? Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, oh, man, what's the block? What's the block? Oh. Yo, you working, right? You getting paid for this, right? Yo, I don't Yo. really get paid like that. You gotta get out of here, man. Let me get a chow cheese. Chow cheese? I, I, wait, hold on a second. Let me see what I got. Uh, 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 no, yo, I need, I need some ground beef, bro. I, I got no chat cheese for you, man. So what do you have? What do you have? I got a spaghetti con pan. Spaghetti con pan? Who eats that? Bro, that's nasty, but I don't want spaghetti con pan. Oh, nah, you killing me right now. Come on, bro, I got you. Yo, man, don't go, man. Where you going, bro? Come back. Come back, man. Get okay. Yo, what happened? Oh, man. Ah, you woke me up anyway. I'm going back to sleep. Yo, no tengo quien me quiera. No tengo quien me dé un consuelo. Me buscaré otro. Got nobody here to love me, here to love me. Living in the city and it's getting ugly, getting ugly. I just wanna move away, living lovely, living lovely. I wanna eat good, yeah, getting chubby. Half Puerto Rican, what past they sorta of reaching? Sort of reaching. Got the 40 squeezing them blasts before they speaking. Yeah. We in bro with the 44 and a quarter even. We in front of them corner stores and they know the reason. Shout us to the poppy store. A bacon, nigga, cheese, why I ain't get kicked out before? The cops come and go and poppy go and lock the door. They trying to murder me and I know you've been hot before, yeah. Papi at the corner store uh, Tengo la sazón Even when I wrong Tengo la razón uh, Ella está adicta She says she like it pure uh, No puede estar solita A ella le gusta la gasolina uh, A mí me gusta como me mira uh, Papi got the heavy accent when he's speaking Escuchando esa salsa Pásame la malta uh, y coronita Mira como baila de Puerto Rico uh, pa'l callao uh, En la calle elemento raro Que uh, viva México 5 de mayo uh, Eso papi I don't play around <laughs> Once again, it's guns. Uh, God damn it, this be that bodega music. I'm talking using EBT to get a hot sandwich. So icy, look like I wanna scratch off. Mommy spicy, Puerto Rican pecan sauce. Meet me at the corner, keep your head on a swivel. Sipping cream soda, no drama. Oye goza, peacemaker like Tony Toka. Hey, I got next on the domino. Gotta do it for culture, right? We got coronas, no virus though. Hold your flag up the highest. Jersey feel like the high stove. And you know, Poppy got packs around. No rats allowed, that's why they got them cats in the owl. Bacon nigga cheese sandwich. Come on, give you all like couple of money. Like, give me. Get kicked out before the cops come and go and poppy go and lock the door.